The start of the baseball season just days away, and here we are joined by head coach Mark Kingston. And coach, I know a lot of people have asked you this, but we're sitting here outside, squinting into the sun, getting a tan the start of the season. How nice and how different is this for you? It's great. Uh, I feel very fortunate. Obviously, we really enjoyed our time at Illinois State. A lot of great players, a lot of great teams, uh, great administration, everything you could ask for, great town for our family. But now, uh, being here, uh, very fortunate, very appreciative of, of having this kind of weather, this environment. Uh, you can't ask for anything more. So over these past few months, you've gotten to know the team, you've started coaching them, now just days away. What are the final stages of preparation for you and the coaching staff? Well, as they say, the hay's in the barn. Uh, we've done pretty much everything I think we need to do from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint. We've covered uh, almost every situation possible. You can't ever cover everything because there's a million variations on, some, on things that can happen in a baseball game. But I think physically we're in a good place right now. Um, both in terms of mechanics uh, of our players, but also the strength that they have now compared to maybe four or five months ago. Um, and then mentally, we've covered a ton of situations. Uh, uh, we have a baseball IQ test that we give to our players and uh, their, their test scores now compared to in September are drastically different. So I think from a physical standpoint and a mental standpoint, I think we're ready to go. You obviously have to you know, inherit a team you know, for good or bad and there are a lot of pieces back. So when you look at the pitching staff and you see all these arms returning, what excites you about the pitchers that you're coming into? Well, I think you have to look at the top end of our pitching staff. Uh, very, very good. Uh, you start with Jimmy Herget and Casey Mulholland as your Friday and Saturday guys. Uh, they can match up with pretty much anybody you play in the country. So that's a great starting point. Uh, Tommy Peterson is coming back. Uh, second year off Tommy John. I think he'll be much improved over what he was last year. Uh, Brandon Lawson is, is a solid uh, Sunday slash two Tuesday uh, starter for us right now who had some success as a freshman so you know I think that's where you start with our pitching staff I think a lot of the roles are to be determined in the bullpen uh, we need some guys to step up uh, and continue their progress um, but I think it, when you're looking at our pitching it, it all starts with the top end there at me today I know you were asked and talked a little bit about some position battles in the field I won't ask you position by position but where are some spots where you are seeing some competition and do you anticipate these competitions going throughout the year or will you continue to platoon as you mentioned you might do well as a coach you hope that guys kind of kind of grab each position and you, and you can go to sleep at night saying okay that's my left fielder that's my center fielder that's my shortstop that's my second baseman uh, and the, the truth is we do have some spots now that guys have, have pretty much solidified. Um, however, there are some spots on the field still uh, where we could possibly platoon. Uh, we could have all three of the four spots on the infield, meaning third base, second base, and first base, could all potentially be platoon situations where we can match up left-right uh, because the two guys at each of those positions being considered are left-right. Uh, we, we have that ability. Uh, Kyle Teef obviously is the shortstop. Uh, right now going into the season I would say our, our outfield is pretty set. Uh, Kevin Merrill has earned the starting left field spot for now. Uh, Austin Luke, a veteran here, is in center field and Luke Maglich has, has made a lot of good progress and will open the season in right field. Uh, the two guys that I'd say are, are the two biggest swing guys right now that, that could be in the lineup on any given day are, are Daniel Portales and uh, Dre Leal. Uh, Dre has, has made a lot of progress in terms of he can play second, he can play third, he's a catcher for us now too, so he he's, brings a lot of versatility and, uh, and Daniel Portales is a kid that you can bounce around on the field too, he can play left, he can play right, he can DH, he can play first, uh, so we'll have some options there and then another X factor is Clay Simmons. Uh, a lot of Billy, just we need to continue to, to work on his ability to make good consistent contact because when he does, he has as much power as anybody. So those are the guys right now that, that we're looking at going into the season. Well, Kyle Teef is the shortstop, and when we come back, he'll give you a first-person look at what it's like to play shortstop. That's when the Mark Kingston Show returns. Looking for an individual or family health care plan, or maybe a dental policy? Look no further than the Tampa Florida Blue Centers in West Shore, Carrollwood, and Pinellas Park. For more information, go to floridablue.com or call the number on the screen. Welcome back. 
GoPro Day? GoPro Day. Chris Gates, high level. GoPro Hodo. GoPro Day. You're just jealous. Jealousy is, <laughs> jealousy is an ugly trait for you. <laughs> Severus hasn't left my side. I want it. I thought we brought the selfie pull out and take a ground ball. Dude, I'm the one that gets all the face time. You guys don't realize. That's true. I didn't know they had shoulder straps now for the GoPro. This is an XL. It's kind of loose. It's kind of tight on me. Is it on? Oh, it's on? Yeah, it's been on. Hello, one, two, three. GoPro. GoPro. Right. GoPro. The train. <laughs> <laughs> Lawson who? Mine's like oh, Lawson? Yo. Anybody have it exactly? Go ahead, Gilly. 4.0. Yeah, 4.0 is the one that makes you wonder if you need to fail. Thank you. Peyton Manning. Once again, Peyton Manning, good guy for today, obviously. Guy has a lot of physical gifts, but mentally he's playing till he's almost 40. Still one of the greatest of all time because he's smart. He, he is an overachiever, guys. He's very talented, but he's an overachiever. That's how we have to think at all times. Mentality, all right, look for the answer, not the excuse. Be really quick with that excuse. Look for the answer at all times, not the excuse. Okay, there's always a way, always find a way, no excuses, just get it done. All right, grab a drink, grab your best, we'll hit in five minutes. Get a couple hard ground outs the first baseman right here. Oh, oh you won't hit the camera? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I took one off the chest. Or they went the ground balls, hit it, yeah. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. This is where the legends live, waiting for someone with better innovation. From the brand that reinvented the t-shirt comes the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo. This is our rocket ship. Coach, we just saw that kind of neat first-person look. Kyle Teef had the GoPro on, showed it was what it was like to play shortstop. From getting to coach him over these past few months, what have you learned about what kind of player Kyle Teef is? Well, coming in, you looked at his stats from last year, and you saw a guy that hit 350, a guy that played really solid defense, and so you knew you were getting a good player. Uh, what I've come to appreciate with Kyle is, is that he comes to the park every day ready to work. Uh, he has a very, a very stable, consistent personality, never too high, never too low. Uh, he loves to play. Uh, he loves to rub off on his teammates. Uh, so you just look at a guy that has maximized his abilities. He's not overly you know, big. He's not overly fast, uh, but he's just a ball player. And that's the 
it's the ultimate compliment you can give to a player. It's just guy's a ball player. And so, you know, I think he's, he's going to be one of the guys that really makes our engine go this year. Well, let's talk about this start of the season. It's coming up, yeah. and it's quite an ambitious schedule. The season begins Friday against Cal State Fullerton, a preseason ranked team, a team that has made a lot of NCAA tournaments, some College World Series games, and then Louisville the very next day. What will you want to see out of your team, and what is a pretty tough stretch? Yeah, it's a very ambitious schedule, there's no question. That's four games to start a season that have to be as tough as anybody in the country. I believe all four teams that we're facing, uh, Alabama State, Florida, Louisville, and uh, Cal State Fullerton, all, all have been picked to win their conferences. So these are all teams that are going to be in the NCAA tournament at the end. So if our guys ever want to know what, what playing in Omaha is like this early in the season, we're going to be playing Omaha caliber talent right out of the gate. So what you get from that is, is you hope you win some games, obviously, but we're also going to learn where we are in terms of our development. What do we need to be able to handle better? Uh, where are the things that are, are set and can compete at that level? So. It'll be a constant learning process for us, uh, but we're also going to compete our butts off and, and try to win every game. That opening weekend is in Clearwater. The season begins Friday against Cal State Fullerton, and then Wednesday, February 18th, right here against Florida. Should be a great one to open the home USF baseball season. That'll do it for the Mark Kingston Show. We'll be back right here in two weeks. Thanks for watching.